first things first, I have my standing wraps for when we're at horse shows. In this little top box, I like to keep some mints, an extra bit, which I have more than this in my actual locker. And I like to keep two pairs of spurs, my rolly balls when I'm feeling nice, and my pointy ones for when I don't need to be so nice. Over here I have my draw reins, and I also keep, um, this is my running martingale connectors, which I don't use them, but my breastplate does have an option for them, so I keep them in my trunk. I like to keep little hair ties just in case, and then, you know, I never know when I need to tame his mane. So I keep those in here, a vet wrap that I have opened, which I threw in here, my little whisker trimmer which is quick and handy. I keep a lot of my stuff in here, which I'm gonna take out so I can show you guys individually every single one of the products, just so you can get a better look. This is the E3 antibacterial antifungal shampoo. I like to use this like on his legs especially or any areas that might be looking a little grungy. And this is the E3 tea tree shampoo. It's great for obviously moisturizing. It also helps wear off any flies. It's just really good for like a deep cleaning, you know, any dirt buildup. Um, it'll keep their hair nice and soft. And this is just one of my favorite brands is the E3. So I like to use this. And then like I said, I kind of spot treat. Kind of see these are some of the things it's good for. Skin disorders, skin rashes, rain rot, hot spots, dry patches, etc., etc. Over here I have my mane and tail conditioner. Sometimes I'll use this all over his body, but I mainly like to use it in his mane and tail. This is my Cowboy Magic Detangler and Shine. It's kind of like a liquidy gel. I like to use this in his mane and sometimes his tail just kind of helps detangle, make it nice and shiny and smooth. I'm going to take this out so you can get a better look. This is the Dawn Free and Gentle No Dyes or Strong Perfume Soap. I like to use this to clean all my brushes every now and again to keep everything nice and clean. Here you have the Avon skin so soft bath oil so i like to put this sometimes i mix it and dilute it into his fly spray or his show sheen or i like to put it in his tea tree shampoo every now and then for some of his baths now on this side these are my peppermint bit wipes, which I like to wipe down his bit with. Coconut oil, you can use this for multiple things. I like to use it in his baths, on his coat, mane, tail, all kinds of good stuff. You really can use coconut oil for just about anything. Back over here is bug spray for me. I also like to keep Febreze to go in here so I can spray down my helmet or my gloves in between washes my trusty earplugs just in case you never know what he's gonna be like. I like to use this Silverado face glow at horse shows just to kind of give his face a nice little shine. This is one of my favorite metal soap. Um, it smells amazing, works great. And when I'm not using my CWD cleaning kit, occasionally I will use this leather balm instead which I really like it and then I also have liniment over here which is Vetrolin by Farnam and I like to use this after jump schools or at horse shows things like that and inside my trunk now that I've taken my grooming kit out I have an extra lead rope down here I have a couple of non-slip grip pads and his sheet that I only use at horse shows so it stays nice, his show halter, um, my nice show crop that my trainer gave to me, my CWD cleaning kit, and on this side, I have 
couple different things. Of course, all the cookies that you could want. Um, I like to keep all-purpose wipes in here. Just never know what you need to keep clean. A few snacks, a lick it, a treat ball. One of my favorite hoof products. MTG, it's supposed to smell better. It really doesn't, it still smells bad, but I like to use that. Um, some of the grungy areas or to help his tail or mane grow. Shoshin, and a couple different all natural fly sprays. I like to stay away from the heavy duty ones and use natural products when I can. And that's about it for what's inside. So at Salt Creek, we each get our own little grooming buckets. Not letting me flashlight. As you can see, this one is mine. Oh, there we go. Side here, I really only like to keep some of my brushes, which if brushes. you don't have a flower curry comb, you, you need to get one. Grace will tell you. She just got you one for two? Christmas. Oh, I have two. One's for she horse shows, two. one's for home. Is there a difference? Yeah, the pink one, no, not a difference. The pink one is for home. Blue one goes to the horse show, so nobody has to know that his mom used a pink brush on him. A couple different okay. brushes, hard brush, kind of a medium brush. This one's a really soft brush. I also have a I like little, little baby face curry. Show them the cute face little brush. Face one. Oh, That's I have a little one. baby face curry, which, oh, look at my ring, it's sparkling, okay. Um, this is his face curry, so it's smaller. It's definitely softer. It's not as hard as a normal one. So in case I got some scissors somebody. in case I need to cut something, trim his tail, trim his mane, sweat scraper. This little guy is kind of like a, a toothbrush. Brush. But it's not. I like to um, any like hoof products that I need to put on his hoof or like the sole of the foot or in the cracks. I really like to use this to really scrub it in there, get it where it needs to go, and it's nice and handy. And I don't have to use my fingers or my hoof pick. That's about all you got in here. Okay, so I also keep this next to my tack trunk, and this is kind of like I don't know what you would call it, like a first like aid, a like a first aid medicine. Box. <laughs> when Zini tries my life a little bit and makes me a scared mama, or when this girl needs to steal something, this is the go to little box. I've got paper towels in this little bag. I've got some SWAT. Put that around his cuts. This fly spray, again, for me or bug spray. Neo Pre Def powder that I got from my vet that I like to keep on hand. It's really good for cuts. This is some. Um, SSD cream that I also got from my vet that I keep in here. This, let me see if you can get a better view. This little Bev's cream, it's called a Magic Salve and it really is magical. It's all natural, really good on cuts. I used this on some of Zini's really big cuts when he had a bad fall on the pavement and it worked wonders. Then some tomorrow for when he has thrush as well. I keep all the sticky little products in this little bag. Okay, so the rest of the products in here. I like to keep some surgical dressings, some gauze, um, just in case I need to wrap his leg really good. Gloves, the surgical dressing. I always have vet wrap and like Elasticon on hand. And this is also like a gauze wrap. It's a little different. I like to keep that in here. Of course, keep the Salt Creek blue colors, whatever I could find. Some Betadine. This is really good for cleaning cuts like when they first happen. You just have to be careful because it will kill bad bacteria as well as the goods. Also really good. It's a wound wash. It's sterile saline, so basically just clean water. I like to use this on its cuts as well instead of just hose water. This is Alu Spray. It's kind of like a liquid band-aid almost. If you have a really bad cut that isn't in an area that you can wrap, I like to use this. And this is a secret little thing that we found at Walmart. I get this medicated shampoo from my vet, but we looked up the active ingredients in this and found that this is for like dogs and cats and they sell it at Walmart, believe it or not. Antiseptic, antifungal medicated shampoo. And I use this in case he ever gets, you know, grunge on his legs, things like that. I keep this on hand, which all the girls know that they can borrow as well. I keep this head and shoulders, which this is really good for dandruff, and he gets dandruff in the top of his tail, so I like to use this at the top of the tail only. Some Keratex 
it's like a hoof hardener. I use this on the sole of his feet and around like the nail holes. This will help keep his feet nice and strong and dry when it's wet out. This is a sweet little product that Grace turned me on to. It's called, let me see if I can zoom in. Veterinary Preference Thrush Treatment Pre-Moistened Self-Adhering Pads. So like if they have any little cracks in their feet, you can just take one of these out and pack it in one of them and it will help treat those little areas of thrush and it can stay in there, kind of for summer sores in case they get it. This was more so for my retired mare. Um, fear zone for when I need to like sweat his legs or anything like that. I also have same thing but it's fear of free and it basically is the same thing as fear zone. They've just done away with the carcinogenic ingredient that was in fear zone. It's really personal preference. Venice turpentine. So I like to use this like on the sole of his feet. This is another good like helps fight bacteria, anything like that. It helps harden the feet. I like to put this on the bottom of the feet and it's very, 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 very sticky. So don't put it anywhere where you're worried about getting it dirty, but this is a great product as well as the Caratex over here for keeping their feet nice and hard. And Zini lately has been having a hard time when it's wet out here in Florida with thrush in his back feet. So I've been experimenting with a couple products and I told you how much I love the E3 shampoos. So I experimented with this E3 thrush clear and I squirt this obviously the sole of his foot and I have that little brush that I like to scrub it with. It gets a little sudsy but so far this has done a great job. And this is a little bit more hardcore. I try to use this for only about like three days at a time if I need to, but that's another good one. And then for kind of like preventative, this is a powder. Uh, it's called No Thrush, just dust on. So I'll kind of squirt the powder where I need to rub it in there either with the hoof pick or my little brushy. And this is a great preventative. It helps with scratches, mud fever, rain rot, coat fungus, all of those kinds of things, but it's a dry product. And so far I'm loving that as well. Yeah, so this is kind of my first aid kit. We've got fungus, we've got the liquid band-aids, disinfectants for cleaning the wounds, um, hoof hardeners, some medicines, stuff to sweat his leg, thrush stuff, and first aid kit kind of that wrap, Elasticon, gloves, all that good stuff. And a lot of this you can just find at CVS or Walgreens. And like I said, go to Walmart. You can get this. If your horse has fungus, give it a try. So far, it's been working wonders here. And yeah, that is basically everything that I keep in my special little box. How to try to fit everything back in there, nice and tidy to put away. Look at this girl opening the door for me. Ain't she just the sweetest? Oh my god, wait. I have too much crap. Okay, so this is our little Use tack the room. Word. What? It's graceful. What was the C word? Crap. Oh, oh god, crap. I said too. Oh, you said it. Oh, These are the tack walkers. Everybody here gets one, except for those two. We don't get anything. I get two. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> um, this those. is my little locker. I have my CWD breastplate, CWD saddle, Look at, I'm my to up all Ogilvy, and my, I'll pull it out for you, my CWD jumper girth. You have so much CWD tack. I mean, come on. I'm Melina and I have CWD. <laughs> I'm totally, I'm totally putting that on here. I hope you love it. This is my non-CWD bridle. Thank you. You're welcome. However, it is an Edgewood and I plan on getting a CWD. Peep my little NPM charm. Get Check it out. Um, Some of my extra bits, old stirrups. These little guys, if you don't have them, they make everything smell amazing. So you can put them in your tack trunk, your tack locker, anywhere. Everything will smell great. Are you prego? Shut, shut <laughs> up. Um, more tack cleaner, just in case it's cold. I like to clean in the 
heated tack room oh, instead of outside in the cold so my hands don't fall off. And these little guys, I'm just gonna shove them back there, but that is everything in my little tack locker. Here. That's look at so my fun. look at my shop East Coast Equestrian. I put it on my little locker. Oh. Love you, Taylor. Hi. I'm look at my pants. They're new. That's As if great. I couldn't afford them. Oh, you guys are great. Stop. We gotta put the hair. I can't. Yeah. Let me see your sweet charm. Oh yeah. Look at that bling. It's shining. Oh, Cash. I see you. I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing half the things that I do. <laughs> Wait, one more. I have to be zoomed out. You have to do it at the same time. Wait. Wait, no, stand right there. And yeah, then I wish I know. Here, spin towards you, okay? What am I doing? Stand right here? Yeah.